influence the social fabric. There is an epidemic, epidemic running amok, yes. sweeping young men of color off our streets, affecting the poor and disadvantaged disproportionately, and increasingly affecting young ladies and women. Yes, yes. What is so insidious, so heart-wrenching about this epidemic is that it is imminently curable if only enough people care. In fact, if this epidemic was occurring anywhere else but the black and brown and poor neighborhoods of our country, all of our greatest scientists, researchers, and yes, even politicians yeah, yeah. would be in a mad rush to find a cure. Yeah. I'm not talking about a new flu strain or STD or some antibiotic resistant microbe. The epidemic I'm talking about is mad. In the 1970s, prison activists were horrified that over 250,000 people were in the prisons of America. Yet today, with 2.3 million, America leads the world in incarceration. And the racial disparities are astounding and indefensible. Black men are incarcerated at a per capita rate five times that of white men. And Latino men twice that. And if you're a black man within, between the ages of 25 and 29, the number is 15 times that of white men. Outstanding Professor Michelle Alexander in her book told us, today more black men are in prison or jail, on parole or on probation than were enslaved in 1850 before the Civil War. Now as tragic as these figures are, representing a level of human misery of historic proportion, it doesn't end there. Even after our black brothers and sisters are released from prison, completing their sentences, parole and probation obligations, there is a blazing red F stamped on them for the rest of their lives. Depending on where you live, an ex-felon can be legally discriminated against in many ways. You may not be able to vote or have so many hoops to jump through or years to wait before being reinstated. Yeah. You can't qualify for all kinds of federal benefits. Yeah. Food stamps, federal housing, student loans. Yeah. You may no longer qualify to be on a jury of your peers. Right. And your chances of finding gainful employment drops precipitously. The failure of our political system, our economic system, and frankly, our moral fabric has led us down this path of incredible injustice. Yeah. I am more optimistic than ever. All right. The yeah. change needed in minds, hearts, yes. Yes. and systems yes. is inevitable. This is just the beginning. Yes. And I look forward to working with you all to deliver true justice yes. and hearts and love within our communities. Right. I'm Daryl Brown, and I demand an end to mass incarceration. Yeah.
interested in simply queering capitalism or queering the Occupy movement. We demand a state where one's marital status or whom one is married to does not determine one's access to health care or citizenship. Where our health and safety are guaranteed, regardless of our gender identity or presentation. Gender just vision is for a more just and equitable world with racial and economic justice at its core. We do not support hate crimes legislation. Instead, we demand systems of restorative justice in practice. In practice, not just in name. We demand them in schools and community centers. We demand systems of community accountability, not the expansion of prisons. People are often denied services and access to their medications while in prison, which puts their lives in jeopardy. Gender Just acts upon the belief that immigration, criminal, cr criminality, supposed criminality, and disability rights are all interconnected, and that the struggles of all of us should be interconnected. Like our allies who organize this event, Gender Just stands for an end to prisons, not for the endless reform of the prison system. Yeah. Softer sheets, softer sheets and fluffier pillows will not cut it. End the prison industrial complex now. Join us in our work. Thank you. is bleak, but 
we are rising and fighting. We must not stop until we win, and we have to make it clear that we won't stop until we win. We must unite. We have a lot in common. This attack is yet another one of them. There must be no question that we should unite and not let Too big to fail. We say that together we are too strong to fail. Yeah.